this right here illustrates how hungry these deer are and how much they want the woody stuff. That These twigs are eaten way back. These were up above the ground, 20 feet above the ground on this tree. And we dropped them down to the ground. Look at that. Unbelievable. Look at all the tracks. They're crawling way up under here to get at this stuff. There's tracks over here. There's tracks all over the place in here. Because these deer need woody browse. And most hunters, most uh, land managers don't understand how much that this is like chocolate cake to a deer when we brought these treetops down. So this was an area that in past years deer have not used at all in the winter except maybe to pass through. Now it's like a food plot. Now this is their feeding zone, Jim. Yep. Yeah. It's just heavy this deer. This is just fantastic. So we went, we we just went past several food plots. Very uh, little use. Any deer activity yep. at all, and we come in here to these down trees, and this is where it's happening. It's just. A major I can imagine attraction. at night there's 30, 40 deer in here right now. Yep. Okay, we're looking at the ends of this maple tree that Jim just cut down not five minutes ago. And it's just full of thick, heavy buds. And this is great nutrition for deer at this time of the year. And I'm sure within, you know, 12 to 24 hours, the deer are going to find this. They're going to completely strip this tree of these buds. This will actually is a lot of food for deer. This is going to carry a number of deer through a few days of browsing. So uh, it'll be pretty neat when Jim comes back here and takes video to show you the before and after how hard they're browsing on this. Okay, Jake talked uh, a couple hours ago about the fact that I dropped this tree and it has all these buds on it here and we're expecting deer to come and feed on this so I'm going to set up a trail camera over here and come back in a few days and check it and we'll just see how much activity there is here. One of the things that will happen here is we're putting our scent down in this area here. If we did that during deer season we could expect to clear this area out for a week to ten days um, but because it's off season and because we've been all over back in here working and doing chainsaw work uh, they're going to figure out that it's either farmers or lumberjack Jims and Jakes that are back here and not hunter Jims and Jakes. So uh, we expect deer to be coming in feeding on this. They'll snoop around and expect, inspect our scent, but it's not of concern to them at this time of year because they, they know that they're not being hunted. So uh, we fully expect these buds to really draw in the deer in the next few days. Normally we would put a camera up if we're doing it for in the season up higher, we probably need to have a a video about that. But uh, cameras at this level, uh, pre-season and in-season, we wouldn't do because it would uh, alert the deer to our presence here because our scent is all over it, and you can't be careful enough. We want normally to put our cameras up higher, but for this time of year, it really doesn't matter. We should be able to pick up some good shots. This is a habitat. Um, analysis that we're doing here to see how long it takes, how quickly the deer key in on this new food source that we've produced here. And believe me, there is a lot of food on this tree. All of it has been up out of reach and it's going to drive these deer nuts when they find out it's here. Back again a few days later and this tree is just completely hammered everywhere on it. These buds are eaten off. There are hardly any buds left on this thing. Just hammered. They've reached way back in here. They've reached up high. There are a few of the highest ones they couldn't. No, they stood up here and grabbed some of those. All you guys out there that have open woodlots with very little browse realize this is the kind of thing that keeps deer on your property. They are hungry for this woody browse and just look at all this. I am really anxious to see what I got on this camera here. I finally left at 5.12 p.m. So what happened? At 6.44 p.m. about an hour and a half later the first deer showed up. 
here we are going through the evening 6 50 11 p.m. 4 30 a.m. another group shows up look at that nice big deer right there the next morning look at how this one has crawled right up in among the branches We're now around 2 o'clock the next afternoon. We're on the 12th at 8 a.m. The 13th. a bachelor group of bucks, one with antlers, the rest without. Now it is 5.14 p.m. on the 14th. This deer is feeding at 5.14 p.m. and I show up nine minutes later. The deer showed up one and a half hours after I left and there was continuous activity until nine minutes before I showed back up. We've cut hundreds of trees in this area this winter. If you want to do yourself a favor and do the local deer a favor, do this to your woods. Thanks for watching another WAS video.